My colleagues at uh, Skipper Lab, the Zero Cash team, and myself would like to uh, take this opportunity to tell you about the brave new world of ZK Snark applications. Um, so uh, ZK Snarks are in a particularly efficient form of zero knowledge proofs. Um, they are succinct, non-interactive arguments of knowledge uh, between a prover and the verifier. And um, necessarily, there's also a generator setting up a common reference string. And um, there has been a wealth of fascinating literature on this, um, starting with the seminal works on zero knowledge and <clears throat> especially productive over the past decade in terms of theory, implementations, compilers from high level uh, representations, and specific applications. And I'd like to tell you about two real world deployments uh, that are particularly exciting for us. The first is LibSnark, a C++ library for ZK Snarks that we've been developing for the past four years. Uh, LibSnark contains the uh, state of the art in uh, pre-processing Snark implementations, starting with those based on quadratic span and arithmetic programs and uh, their subsequent improvements, as well as um, the, the generalization to proof carrying data. It also contains very efficient tailored implementations for finite field, elliptic curves, and pairings. It's open source. It's uh, out there to download from GitHub, and you're welcome to do so and use it, as about 50 other academic and commercial users have already. Um, <clears throat> we've been fortunate to have several developers join us recently, and uh, it, they uh, contributed some very nice things to the library, including a new build system that uh, and other improvements that make development and integration easier, um, improvements to the uh, prove prover performance algorithm using low-level techniques as well as using high-level techniques implementing the latest and greatest ZK SNARK schemes resulting in reduced proof sizes and uh, prover complexity as well as verify complexity. All of these are available on our GitHub repo. One particular application of uh, LibSnark is ZeroCache. ZeroCache is a protocol that uh, we've developed for uh, privacy preserving cryptocurrencies uh, inspired by Bitcoin-like public ledgers, but unlike in Bitcoin where every transaction is posted for anyone to view and analyze, in ZeroCache the blockchain contains just a bunch of pseudo-random values, ciphertext, and zero-knowledge proofs of ZK SNARKs. Now, the underlying idea of uh, zero cash is to use zero knowledge proofs. So whenever a transaction happens, um, the sender knows what justifies that transaction and provides a zero knowledge proof for it that anyone can, can verify the validity of that this transaction is legit, has a correct origin, isn't double spending, and so forth. Anyone else can ma merely verify correctness, but the recipient can moreover verify that they are the intended recipients and take ownership of those funds. Now, this started as a paper in Auckland 14, and ever since then, we've been working on taking this into a real-world cryptocurrency, and that indeed happened last October. Uh, after it, uh, several years of work and a dedicated engineering team and a company that was established to fund those engineers, the new cryptocurrency was launched. This is the node map a few days after launch. As of today, we have an ever-growing blockchain. Um, about $5 million um, tra are transacted using SNARKs every day. And this uh, is just a lower bound because some of these are protected by zero knowledge. We don't know they're there. Some of these are done by off-chain exchanges. Um, and speaking of which, there is a very large ecosystem containing this, dozens of such off-chain ex uh, exchanges containing hardware and software wallets, uh, hundreds of forks on GitHub by various developers, extending and improving, and of course, many, many thousands of users. So um, taking this uh, theory and uh, theoretical definitions and proofs uh, into a real system that people who trust their savings to has been a very interesting journey with many fascinating challenges. I'd like to share one of these with you. And that is the issue of the trust generation that is necessary in the underlying ZK SNARKs. Why would anyone trust me or a commercial company or anyone else to generate that CRS? And therefore, we replaced that by a multi-party computation that was tailored specifically for this setting for efficiency. And that took place uh, before the uh, currency was launched. 
And um, it involved suitable cryptography as well as very interesting and extreme operational security measures, like um, a six geographically distributed parties ranging from hotel rooms monitored by journalists and video crews to someone driving in the badlands of British Columbia with uh, a lot of tinfoil. Uh, we had uh, dedicated compute nodes, very carefully uh, purchased and uh, uh, prepared. And uh, after the computation was done, very dramatically distracted um, to erase all remnants of information. Uh, and we have a, public, a publicly auditable trail that anyone can download and verify. <clears throat> There are also many improvements coming up, including uh, improved ZK snark constructions, um, better snark friendly primitive for hash functions, for example. Uh, a very exciting improvement is augmenting the blockchain protocol to support payment to snark verification addresses. So you can pray to someone's criterion in zero knowledge without anyone knowing even what the criterion is, except for you and the recipient. And we're going to redo the MPC protocol to add this extra functionality and to improve it along the way. So if you are going to use ZK Snarks and need your own secure MPC for parameter generation, talk to us. Another interesting thing is uh, we've established the uh, Zcash Foundation, a nonprofit to support the uh, technology and its users. And uh, one of the um, programs is a grant program that will support, among other things, academic research on such proof systems. If you think it's suitable, again, talk to us. There are many other uh, emerging applications uh, in the blockchain and commercial realm, uh, including the next version of Ethereum that's adding ZK Snark support, several other companies in blockchains. Uh, JP Morgan and its Quorum system are adding support for Snarks, as well as a company called Kedit for Prove It that is uh, working on identity attestation and business logic application provenance and the tracking uh, using SNARKs. So to summarize, VK SNARKs really are practical, and uh, there's a rapidly growing community of developers and users and enthusiasts that are going around explaining this technology to each other and looking for new applications. This is a great example of the theory to practice transition. Uh, it motivates new theory questions, as some of those theory papers show, and it also has opened up the question of what's next, what are the next applications to build. If you're going to do that, you may find some of the links that I mentioned uh, summarized in this webpage. Thank you.